There you have it. You know, I think Mr. Kennedy and Alberto Del Rio would make a really good tag team. Yeah, he was speaking of that full display, speaking of full display, and he was gone. This guy's got all the sex appeal of Viscera and Bastion Booger combined. And I think I'm blinded by his interest. Definitely the funkiest member of the ECCW roster. I mean, he tries, he tries to have a dance competition with certain people every week, and he just ends up yeah. squashing them. Someone, someone better call your mom again. I really hope she's not watching this entrance right now because, you know, I think for a lot of people this is really hard to watch. This 350-pound man in spandex. Oh, come on now, guy. You make it sound like a bad thing. But that's the matter of whatever it is that he wears. All he does is what he can do in the ring. Well, let's see what he can do in the ring again tonight against David Otunga. Oh, boy. Maybe it's... No, it's oh. Michael McGillicuddy. I still say, oh, boy. Uh, definitely... It's, it's a rematch, and you know, I think, you know, you had McGillicuddy and Keith Slater talking in the ring before the Boogeyman came up. Um, who do you think is going to do, I mean, McGillicuddy won in this rematch. Do you think he has any kind of chance over Brodus Clay? No. You know, I like this kid, I like his lineage, I like, you know, just about everything about this guy, but he really needs this win. Well... Obviously, I mean, he's supposed to be the son of Mr. Perfect. Well, I mean, he's far from perfect here on ECCW, and I think he just needs a chance to get there. Yeah. Boogie Man now. Well, so much for dancing. Time to go up the action. He's trying to dance his way out of this, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go now. And, oh, my goodness, what's up? And now. Oh, nice. That's for a big from Brodus Clay. Michael McGillicuddy getting shot over the ropes by Brodus Clay. Oh my goodness. And now Michael McGillicuddy, ladies and gentlemen, trying to get back in full control. Michael McGillicuddy, I'll tell you what, the Bush is upset at being signed. And now Brodus Clay now. And oh my that goodness, what big he's about shot. And now. Brodus Clay starting to dance even more. Michael McGillicuddy not having any of it. You know, it's a shame. It's a shame that uh, that we don't have the late great Dick Clark here. Otherwise, he would have been hosting. He like he, he would like this matchup and call it America's Bandstand. American Bandstand. Definitely. I mean, you got to see the moves on display. Dancing by Brodus Clay. Mm-hmm. And now Brodus Clay now throwing Michael McGillicuddy against the ropes and. Oh my goodness, what a sidewalk slam! I think that was a sidewalk slam. Going for that big chop, Brodus Clay. And look at this, Michael McGillicuddy shot off the ropes and gets bumped into the huge Brodus Clay. And again, Michael McGillicuddy trying to knock him down. They say, they say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Well, I think McGillicuddy was the one who fell hardest there after those, after hitting the brick wall that is Brodus Clay. Uh-oh. This huge splash. That might be it, folks. We got one. We got two. We got three. Here's Spatula, because we need to get him out of that way. I don't know why he even asked for this rematch. That was an absolute squash on the part of the Funkasaurus. Literally. That was, I mean, you said that was a squash. Oh, he's a squash. Oh, he definitely got a squash. Goodness, what a victory for Brutus Clay. The Grish and the Funkasaurus. The Funk Man. A new member? You're telling me that this duo of Goofs is going to become a trio? Hey, it could happen. 
Look at me, that is the key question. This is... I can only imagine that it's somebody like Scotty to Hottie to join this group of goofs. I mean, what's going on here on ECCW? You're getting all the weirdos over here. You don't see nearly as many weird uh -oh. on SmackDown. Obviously not too happy about what happened at Barely Legal. And to ECCW. And uh -oh. I quote. Oh, no. And I quote. Michael Cole. Oh, no. Michael the best Cole wrestling theme great. since David Michael Flair. Cole is really no, no, a great no, I person. have to disagree with this. Show some respect. This guy be the worst German Michael manager. Cole. He really is a nice person. I can't think of anybody, maybe with the exception Michael, of Michael special Cole. guest general managers that could possibly be worse than Michael Cole. 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 Well, this is gonna be interesting, folks. What does Michael Cole have to say? Gotta be kidding me. Insult a league like that? Insulted multiple leagues like that. Mm-hmm. Hey, come on now, Cole. I mean, you gotta have more respect to a, for a league than just bad mouthing them. I mean, RCW, ACW, they're very good leagues. Michael, wait a minute. What's Michael talking about? He's gonna try to tame Wu Tang Man. Michael Cole saying that Wu Tang Man has disrespected him, and you know people saying that Cole is just evil. This is just ridiculous. Uh oh! I know that song anyway. JR! Look at this, this is fantastic! Cole can't believe it! Good old JR is here on ECCW! Never thought I'd see him in the likes of somewhere like here. Um, wait. That's the name call the begin. And JR is right, Michael Cole is the biggest uh, embarrassment in this company.
Jump share from uh, Jim Ross. Jim Ross doesn't know his talent. He's been a talent coordinator in the past, for sure. Absolutely. Gotta give Jim Ross credit. He does know talent. Jim Ross is a head of talent relations here in WEDF. He was the one who brought Wu-Tang Man here. Uh... Oh, now that's the biggest joke in the world. Oh, now Michael Cole insulting the WEDF universe. That's like. You tell him, Jim. Honestly, the next this thing was definitely overdone. <laughs> definitely a lot of broken kayfabe going on right here, right now. Not just that, I think we built the fourth wall. Whoa! -ho -ho! That is <laughs> huge. But Michael Cole is saying no. Jim Ross wants a match here. Oh my goodness! Ladies next and gentlemen. week. Oh. Next episode. Michael Cole versus Jim Ross. And we got that huge beat the clock challenge. I am ex so excited for next week's ECCW. And again the new general manager next week. Michael Cole. You can bet on that. Michael Cole has Michael no Cole chance in this great. match. Michael Cole. We're getting a new general really manager person. next week. Show some respect. This could be the last Michael week Cole. of ECCW with nice Michael Cole as the general manager. And that might be a good thing. Michael Cole. Cole. What an announcement. Cole. What a bombshell of announcement. Next episode just keeps on getting better and better. Looks like it's going to be one of the best episodes of ECCW that I've seen in a long, long time. And here we go with the next match for the night, folks. has to be a little bit disappointed over his performance at Valley Eagle. We got, so close to beating we got the main event time, that tag match player. We got Mr. Kennedy and William Regal going against Wade Barrett and Batista. Okay, first of all, let's get something straight here, alright? My name is Ecar. Last time I checked, my last name is not played. Second, I think that we go I wasn't saying your last name was player, I'm saying your first name was Playa. You're a Playa Carter. What the hell? Well, I know Wade Barrett and Batista see more eye to eye than these two, and they not only they have the size advantage on top of everything. And here comes William Eagle. One of the biggest names on ECCW right now, definitely worthy to hold that world championship.